Alright, so once again, here I am. Back in school, waiting on my brother to pick me up. Boom, boom, bang. But another successful week. I mean, being very positive. <laughs> school life is really exciting. Carnival has just finished. I was locked away in a cocoon, well, my bedroom, for a week, for four days. And I did school work. Glorious school work. Um, so we presented our group project. It was successful, it was cool. Uh, now, on to lighting design. And um, the work just keeps piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up. And really and truly, it has been a trip. This week has been really crazy. Uh, so, hmm, it's been crazy. I mean, how, how, do I, how do I survive as a university student in this thing called tertiary education? It's crazy. I mean, I love it, tough one. This is my final year, so woo, I'm going to be out pretty soon. So, I mean, what, are, what, are, what do we have to talk to? The, oh, by the way, Maximus Dan, aka MX Prime. I live in Trinidad, people. We have a carnival, okay? So, this dude sang this song called Full Extreme, and he was talking about the city could burn down with jamming still. It means that we are still going to party and jam, even though our building is burning down or the city is burning down. And it goes like this The city. Good bond dong. We jamming still. Yeah, but enough of that. I have a little more of a voice this week, but I already sing. Back to school. Um hmm. congratulations on this point. Yeah, back to school. School has been very interesting and I'm working it out. I'm making it work and doing my best to see how it can work. I believe that success only comes with determination and habit. You may have several different projects to do. Time management is the ultimate tool to survive in this jungle that we call school. Yes, I rhyme. Sorry. Yeah, I did it. So, okay. Um, how do you manage your time? How do you manage your time as a university student? You'll get several projects. Each project has a different layer or aspect to it, and it goes in level. The thing is, you're usually broken into um, you're usually broken into it bit by bit, piece by piece, layer by layer. In tertiary education, you are given several. Well, how we do it is the common answer is that you're given first the basics, and then you have to apply it physically. Now, if it is your academic schooling requires a physical component, let's say you, you draft or do, there is paperwork associated. Sometimes it is better to get the paperwork out of the way first, then you attack the physical. But there are some of us who do it backwards. I mean, it's up to you. But the thing is, ultimate thing is to just start. If you do not start, you will not get anywhere and again, it all comes back to what I said in the last video. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to be scrambling for information and trying to organize yourself. Maybe the last week before the project is due, when you had a whole month. Sorry about that. No, but really, I mean, sometimes you're given three weeks to a month to do a project. And why is it that we wait till the last day to finish our... No, start the thing now. If you have an essay to write and it's 2500 words, you know what you do? You start that shit now. You may have five projects, two, five, six subjects or courses with them and all of them have group projects and simultaneously have individual essays to write. What you do, you simply start all of them at once. But what you're going to do is organize your time. When you organize your time, what you, you have smartphones, you have a Samsung Galaxy S4 and I really don't use it to organize my time. But if you are struggling with five or six subjects, best thing to do, have a calendar. You just Set your phone to tell you, hey, today I have this course, three weeks started. Open a Word document, get the first bit of research that you need to get because majority of the projects that you're going to be doing in school is research in any case. After you do that, you save it. You email it to yourself. Don't be like me in the past, saving everything to a drive and then that drive decides to crash. You have a backup. What's a backup? A backup is having a copy of inf of your information in not more than one place, but more than two places. If the school burns down, you need to have a backup on the internet. Email. Here's what. You can even go so further to be meticulous enough to have 
your school email, your personal email. School email fail. You never know. Your school email can fail. Possible. You revert to your personal email. Your work is sent there as well. That's if you don't have it on a hard drive. But please, do not trust in hard drives. Do not trust in computers. All hard drives fail. I did data management. Trust me, I know. All hard drives fail. So don't depend on a hard drive. Depend solely on, yeah, depend solely on having a backup in your email. Good to have it on a flash drive. Good to have it on a hard drive. But if something happens, you could, you could be in a hurry. You could be late for a class. You never know. In your last and final year, you are making a new step and you change. What will go wrong can go wrong. And what can go wrong will definitely go wrong. So you need to, you know, understand that sometimes, you know, the forces of nature, I don't know, you call it whatever you want to. But things does not always work in your favor, so you have to have a backup. Um, so we've dealt with organizing your time, the importance of starting and having a backup. Those are the three main points I would give today simply because of the fact that uh, simply because of the fact that they get you going, they initialize you, and then when you okay, let's go back to having the the alarm set or whatever the case may be to check your progress on the work. Constantly check your progress. Also, get a second opinion. Don't just rush into a project that you just learned for the first time, teacher showed you, or your lecturer showed you what to do, taught you what to do, and all of a sudden you have an issue in terms of, uh, you did it, but it was a major piece of shit. So what you're going to have to do now is simply get a second opinion. So that's the fourth thing. So time management. Organize, have a calendar, know what you have to do for the month, start, um, get a second opinion. Very important. Don't play with it. The people that are teaching you are already getting paid. Yes, they are. And they don't care about what goes on outside of the classroom. They want to know that you have their work ready. How are you going to be ready? By being prepared. How are you going to be prepared? By time management. See, I can afford to speak now because I've been where you have been, for those of you who are really drowning in school work right now you know so final thoughts final thought is to say this you can and will succeed if you put things in place if you fail to prepare you prepare to fail it's that simple no one's gonna do it for you you have to get off of youtube you watched one one beyonce song you watched one jay-z song jadena just brought a new song you watch that get off unless if you are doing research then no uh, i mean Go to the library, but if it is internet usage, get focused, stay focused. Always remind yourself of the goal. What do you want this to be? A, how do you get that A? Then do all of the work, do it on time. I can't stress how important it is to hand work in on time. If you don't hand it in on time, it's only going to be your hurt, to your detriment. Trust me, people. So, time management, organization, being prepared, having a backup, starting, most important. Get it done. Peace out. See you guys later.